The last round of the long road to the World Cup for Africa is finally coming to an end. But the controversy is far from over. Well, obviously, you know, um, it's something that FIFA, you know, has to look into, to be very honest, because I don't understand why uh, the Confederation of Africa, which has 54 countries, only has five slots at the FIFA World Cup. And Europe, who are also, you know, with 55, have 13. Critics say African teams only make up the numbers of the World Cup. But others contend that the World Cup in Qatar could provide a turning point for Africa ahead of the anticipated changes in the qualifiers. They have to qualify. We don't know yet which one it will go through. We hope the good ones will come in and once they arrive here, it's good because to recover now there's no problem anymore on transport because you are all going to play in the same city. So for infrastructure are amazing. Everyone will be, uh, you know, uh, placed in a very good condition. Now they have individually each country to work very strongly to prepare the players to be ready for the competition. So this one, we just cross our finger. We want to see Africa high. We want Africa to, to show uh, his ability. However, the qualifying process has been like no other. COVID-19 pandemic, tough competition and logistical challenges ended the dreams of many top teams in Africa who wanted to feature in this year's competition. Uh, World Cup be, 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 be hosted in the uh, Middle East is something has never happened and it's historical to be honest and uh, of course I'm a little bit, di bit disappointed my country is not going to be part but me as I'm coming here I think it's, it's a huge you know I'm, I'm sure I'm sure I'm being so jealous of the players going to be participated here. 28 teams played in the first round of the qualifiers for the World Cup. The second round had 40 teams in 10 groups resulting in the best 10 teams who are now in the third and final round for their valuable five slots. You have, uh, you know, Egypt, um, Senegal, um, Algeria, you know, that are going to play against the other teams on the other side of, uh, of the unseeded uh, group. So one of those will not go to the World Cup. And that's really not fair because these are teams that can compete at the World Cup. We've seen the North African teams have done very well Algeria, Morocco, Egypt has a real potential to show great ability to eventually do something very well during this uh, Middle East World Cup. So for now, the rest of Africa, we have the belief. We have the belief that we need also the teams to have uh, in numbers experienced player to be able to match with the level of what the others are going to bring from the South Africans, the Europeans. So I have the belief but the belief sometimes is not enough, so I cross my finger that uh, everything will be good and, uh, and one of the African team will reach the dream of what we've been looking after. That dream is still on hold for Africa at the moment as no team from the continent has qualified from the group stage. When the best five eventually make it to the World Cup, their country flags will be raised in Doha, signaling the end of one of the most brutal World Cup qualifying processes for Africa. Sadiq Shaban, CGTN, in Doha, Qatar.